Sound is good, I think. I think so. I did Can't this. Can't see very much. Yeah, that might kind of complicate it, but maybe not. I don't no, know. No, because I gave one big one. One I big drank, one. I drank a Celsius this morning, and then because I wanted... I went like NPC walk cycle and went to the coffee shop and ordered a, cris- a ham and cheese crisco- croissant. Crisscross. Croissant and a cold brew because I thought that I needed to get it, even though I didn't. It just... I like was just... I fully grabbed it and then got back here and was like... Oh yeah, this is gonna be too much caffeine. I'm gonna be at some point. I'm gonna get scared that somebody knows my address in I the can't middle see of the anything. episode, bro. That is so NPC of you. <laughs> it's crazy to get. I like, can't a see a single normal thing, ass yeah. thing from a store. No, I'd like the. You know what I'm saying? Like I get this with the ham and cheese croissant every single time I come here, and I'm saying croissant for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is happening. Well, guys, it's the new year, 2024, and we've decided to make a permanent change to the lineup of the podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, guys, I'm just happy to be here. Uh, I like that your glasses say 200. Yeah, 200 uh, with a, I an exclamation point, or maybe a 1, 2001. 200. Pr- year 200. 200. I'm pretty excited about 200 this 200 year. 200 is going to be big. I couldn't find any other ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm happy to be here. I mean, I wish Caleb the best in his... He, so, the story, what story. happened is what happened is Caleb last night, our friend Brian, who has been on beers we drank and stuff, uh, Brian comes home from Texas and he's like, oh, I've got a bunch of uh, freeze dried like b- uh, Texas barbecue and I want you all to come over and eat it and we're going to gamble and stuff. And so Noah is also Noah comes home last night also sick as a dog from this food, I think. He said that he threw up, and then he was in my bathroom all night. I like that you led with also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Caleb got well, food poisoning from Caleb eating five-year-old barbecue. That Nine was tra- day that, old barbecue. That was in space orbit yeah. for two days. So really? b- he's sick. <laughs> he's sick. He's got diarrhea and throwing up, and mm-hmm. Noah came home last night. But the thing is, okay, and he's, he's saying c- Caleb's saying he's got food poisoning, but that's because he always get he thinks he's sick right now from that. Noah told me that they drank uh they they drank a shit ton of like Noah came home with like six bottles of booze. I think that he's maybe just hung over and also a little bit sick from the food, but I think that he's completely exaggerating how sick the food made him. He like told Caleb- me he slept two hours last night. He said his phone is broken, and he's been communicating with multiple people through only me so far yeah. today. Wow. I feel I'm like kind he has of been the-, the conduit for him. That's a thing that a drunken mistake person does, a person who's made a drunk mistake. I feel like he's a like an, al- mistake. Uh, an Olympian, you know? Like, I feel like he just eats the same thing every single day, and, mm-hmm. and if his flow gets disrupted, he's just going to, like, shit. Crazy. Guys, yeah. I don't think any of this matters. I think we need to be excited about 2024. We, we should be. I'm we excited. Be excited about 2024, it's the, the year. New year. I have to take these off. Yeah, those are. It's so funny that this like is a blindfold. For so many years, we had uh, a perfect place to put the eyes. Right. And two, now two oh oh two oh oh. We had a perfect place for the eyes. We, hey, fucking, you can't keep. You, we got to get rid of these. The eyes are twenty years gone. It's four years. It's not, no, it's no, it's not. It's twenty because twenty twenty had two zeros. But yeah. But but twenty the twenty tens were not good eye years either. Well, the two thousands were the last time that these really made sense. But every now and then you have a digit that has a proper hole in it. Yeah. Every now and again, yeah. Two thousand eight, two thousand twenty, two thousand four. I mean, two thousand four. You had two holes. It's the O's. (laughs) Yeah. Two thousand twenty five will make a little bit of sense because you could put the the hole on that five hole. The hole you is know? never going to make sense again. No. The now last we're out time of the 1990s were good because you had the two holes in the nines. They were equidistant. Yeah. The 2000s were great. 2026 will be back. 2020, 2030, 2040, 2050. You know, those, these are all great. Those I, make can't, sense. I can't wait, man. I'm the excited. 20, yeah, there, listen, it's, but we have to give it up for a 2028, while. 2028, 2028 will be okay. 2028. Well, that would because be because you can wear it sideways. Looking, you can yeah. put just to use the two holes in the eight. There's those gonna are going to be interesting glasses. There's going to be a little renaissance. Yeah. 28, 29, 2030. Mm-hmm. 2030 is going to be There's going to be some good. exciting stuff. But they're not, 2024, but the thing, guys, they're we not going to stop. They're not going to stop making the glasses. No. They're, they're going to push a square peg into a circular hole uh-huh. every year from now on, just because we had those golden years of the 2000s. Look at how bad this is. Look at how the, bad how, this is. When looks. did the glasses start? Did they start in the... How long it, ago it did they start? It had to have been 2000. But... 
I guess that, yeah, that's the only way you would think of doing that. 2000 like, yeah. is the one where it's the most exciting. Well like, 19, yeah. like 1992, that would be a good year because you can get put in the nines. But you wouldn't see these people have 1991. Oh, they were patented they in were, 1992? Not, not, that's exactly what I said. 1992 would be a good year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I, the 90s makes but sense. But, it makes but this sense. is, this is, also, this like, is complicated. Imagine. This is fussy. It's like, this is yeah. too much going on. No, you know what? Here's my thing. I think the ni- these, these 1991, 1992 glasses. Wait, they said they were invented in 1992. This woman's wearing 1991. That woman is a time traveler. That is fake. Yeah, um, she would have to <laughs> believe that that exists. Butterfly effect. But here's no. what I'm saying: the 1991-1992 glasses. That's these have a- had to have been invented by either a time traveler or a schizophrenic person, because who looks at the number 1992 and says, "Oh, glasses." Yeah. I want to make glass. 2000. You're like, "Oh, glasses." Glasses or handcuffs mm-hmm. or bubble wrap would be great to merch this off of. But a 1992 is a psycho number to look at and make. Look at this guy wearing the 1998 glasses. Is that this Badlands Booker? <laughs> that's Jerry Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> right there, that's Jerry Lewis. But look at this. It's two, 2024. This is like when you like you're like like you know somebody that's got a dog that should be dead. You mm. know. Like it's like oh yeah that dog's Still been living alive. on stolen hours yeah that mm-hmm. dog is like it's like oh yeah this is my thirty four year old dog yeah that's what these glasses are we got to put them down it's time to put them down until uh-huh. it's time for them to come back to we're life. gonna feed we're gonna feed the dog a Big Mac with a uh, the we're gonna feed these glasses a Big Mac and then they're gonna they're gonna pass away why is there liquid all over oh, don't worry about it um, what, what the fuck happened nothing happened what did you guys do come on man <laughs> nothing it's disgusting nothing it's bad happened. And we're back with amazing Brandon Wardell from uh, Los Angeles, all the way LA. from Los Angeles, California, man. All the way from Let's see, LA. what is yeah, Los Holly, Angeles? Holly, Holly weird. You hear a lot mm-hmm. of this over there in Los Angeles, huh? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. We got yeah, on, the on the soundboard side. today. I'm on the soundboard. I always do it loud and And proud. if you're near the... Oh, my God. Yep. Spill Jesus the entire... <laughs> oh, no. Let's Hold see. Up. I got to turn this off. No, this is... This is yeah. Nothing bad happened. Were you not here? For I was not here for whatever happened here. Patrick, what happened? I there. Don't worry Who about it. Who did it? It was you. Did it? Didn't mm. you? Patrick it could spilled. have been Caleb, this famous spiller. Mm. Clearly, you spilled no, something disgusting spilled, and sticky on this. I spilled in an accident because you onto were this. <laughs> That's crazy. How do you do that? What did you spill? Tell me what you spilled. Caleb was drinking Coca Cola. It was Coca Cola, <laughs> and. I was going to press the button for, I'll admit it, a flop joke. You were, you were made a joke and you went to press a soundboard button. Uh huh. And he got, <laughs> and that's what happened. That's what oh, happened. My, I'm sorry. Well, we're going to forget that in the new year. That's how last year uh, ended. That's how last year ended. And, we're, and I'm forgiving. It was, that was three weeks ago at yeah, this point. That's the other thing that we, we're back in the stew. It's been a minute. Uh huh. It's been since before it's been Christmas. A long, I, there's a lot of changes been, that happened in my life that I don't want to get into. Look at my new hat I got for Christmas. Wow. For everyone who's listening audio, it's a Sour Patch Kids hat that's ye- 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 on yellow. Wow. And green. Wow. And it's squishy. What else did he get? Or was it just a hat? Uh, just a hat. Nice. I <laughs> My got family all pitched in. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Charlie Bucket style. We're here with Joe today because Caleb is completely sick. We've gone over this. I guess. Yep. We're starting off the new year one member down. Uh-huh. New year, new team member. New team member, Membier. and I'm wearing. I realized Trying just now. I forgot when I put this on that this hat has reflective stuff woven into it. Oh, this and is my one head of those is, cool hats. My head is completely shiny on this camera. That's pretty cool. That actually actually does look dope. We actually both have cool neon vibes. We have here. neon hats today. And Joe kind of didn't get the memo, did he? Yeah, no, my hats aren't special enough. You right no, it's a New Year's hat. It does look special. So yeah. how did 2024 end for you, or 2023 end for you guys? Mm. Well, we hung out together yeah. on New Year's Eve, and... I had a delightful new experience yeah. that's changed me forever. What was it? It was smelling salts. Oh, yes. Mm. We were Jack doing a Bensinger lot of had smelling, smelling salts. salts, and it... He Unbelievable. Patrick put him in his new video. Patrick told me that he smelled about 20 of them. I, did, I was a fiend. They were awesome. Have it you ever was smelled disgusting. smelling salts? I don't think so. So basically, it smells so bad that you go like this. <laughs> but it wakes you up. It keeps you, it gets you hyped and wired. Ammonia? Yeah, yeah. it's ammonia. You know, and it I was, was like, like sobering me up. At, it was called like like wild insanity or something. Yeah. It had like a you know the Joker on the on the bottle or mm. something like that. And I was like looking at it because I didn't. I was like, oh, I wonder if just like what it says like is in this or the side effects or anything. On the bottle, it says nothing. 
There's, mm-hmm. It's just it's just like yeah, evil evil serial killer mm. bottle. If the, if the Joker's then, on it, there's pretty good chance. Well, so I was like, oh, I, it wasn't I, the, it wasn't well, the Joker. I, I, it was his own. They're the brand's own character. Oh, yeah. Joker ass. But you know mm. what I mean. The yeah. type of vibe, the pre workout vibe. Um, sure. And it was I was called kinda, powdered insanity, right? So yeah, something like yeah. that. Something insanity. And I was thinking, wow, this is incredible. I, the smell is so bad. I need to get a bottle of this for myself so mm-hmm. I can make myself do things and get hyped up. But because it says nothing on this bottle, I have to assume this is going to kill me if I do it multiple times. Mm-hmm. So I get home. I Google it on my computer. I Google uh, smelling salts, long-term effects, adverse side effects. I Google all these keywords. Guess what, guys? Nothing. Yeah. Literally not bad for you at all. Mm. Isn't that unbelievable? Government websites. Dot gov. Dot govs. Dot govs. They websites. want you to do smelling they salts. They say it's dangerous to breathe in ammonia if you're in a room full of ammonia. But mm. smelling salts, guess what? It doesn't do anything. It yeah. doesn't even do anything good. You just play with chemicals, bro. It's just chemicals. Science you just class. It's just a smell. Yeah. It's so funny. It's just a smell that's so crazy that it makes something happen in your brain. Jack put out that video today, and it's like uh, like he has a bit in the, in the video for the smelling salts. Uh-huh. And I, it's so funny the realization, like, oh yeah, Jack just bought these for like a three second like clip. I want, in the video. I want them. I'm gonna buy them for it's myself. It's such a genius idea. It's I so literally good. think I, I literally would like to do them before every single episode from now on. I think right before hitting record, I think yeah. it will power everything up. It really, I was. He I had like fingerboards a, in his room. I was going. I would smell, do the smelling salts, and then I would do like fingerboard tricks on his like little bench thing. <laughs> it was so sick. You're really productive with the smelling salts, dude. It, I need them right now. I think it's the same thing where you just build up a tolerance to it, and then you're filling your room up with ammonia, and then you're dying. Yeah, you're not filling your room up with ammonia. Though. You're, it's not you're that. Leading but I was, I, that's what I corner. was saying though when we were doing it. I was like, can you like? I was talking about how I wanted to get some to to <clears throat> to pop, pump me up for when I need to be pumped up, like when I'm going to kill somebody or something. Yeah, and chase, uh, chase something. Exactly, a chase scene. Yeah, mm-hmm. and <laughs> <laughs> well, you smell it, and it's so strong, and it's so affecting, and it feels like a laser is going into your face, and you go, ah, oh my god! And I was thinking, can you imagine the moment in your life, the like, it's like after you've done it the first time, and then you have the montage of your whole life after buying it, and then the one sniff, the one that where you get it, you sniff it, and you just it's nothing mm. you don't react at all you sniff it you go mm-hmm. right you have such a tolerance you've built up such a tolerance to it wouldn't yeah. that be so horrible you're supposed to hold them like really low too yeah we were not doing that no i was putting <laughs> them straight up to the nose dude thomas did i it. was yeah he put his nose like on it and he sniffed in so much that he had the salts <laughs> on his nose literally stone face no reaction terrifying <laughs> yeah um, scary yeah no thomas was like a like a statue when he was but we're gonna them. get you on these yeah i wish i could try them right now i, I like wish i wanted out to have them today really badly yeah didn't caleb buy them and he was supposed to bring them with him i don't think he bought them oh, maybe okay. that's why he's sick yeah <laughs> he mm. ate them he, he ate, them. ate the he, them on the he thought they were for seasonings yeah he put them on the steak yeah. that's probably what happened knowing mm-hmm. him um yeah i mean it's the same thing with neti pot have you guys used neti pots oh yeah yeah i'm a big fan of a neti pot how is it the same as a neti pot? Because it goes because in your nose, if man. You, you, Ooh, I guess it's the, the only neti pot you use though. the you use the saline solution, uh-huh. Uh-huh. and the more you use it, the more of a tolerance you build right. up to the saline solution, oh, and then you need to just right. put a shitload of salt in your nose to do it, and then it doesn't work. Got mm-hmm. it. And okay. Then you, just you boil your water. You gotta. Yeah. yeah. Good. I'm not getting. Um, you see I know that I'm worried. I'm, ways I'm to not die getting brain worms. No, I learned about it in my my high school class. Oh, dude. It says it on my neuro class. There's a there's an episode of A Thousand Ways to Die where it, like a person got like almost the the same as like candy roo, but like for your nose and your fucking brain. They got meningitis probably. That's what you can get from it. No, they or got like a bug. Flesh, you can get flesh eating bacteria or meningitis. They got a bug in their stuff. brain. A mm. bug? According like to A Thousand Ways to Die? That's definitely the a TV reputable version. source. <laughs> a very, very reputable source, A Thousand Ways to Die. I've been watching... Oh, my God. Wait, you just reminded me. I've been watching the best TV show of all time. Have you guys heard of this show, Kung Fu, from the 70s? Yeah. Have you ever watched this show? My gym teacher would so quote it at me. fucking fire. My dad was talking about how he and his, his brother used to be obsessed with it back in mm-hmm. the 70s um, when they were kids, and uh, I've been watching it. So it's David Carradine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He plays a character named Kwai Chang Kane. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) He is a Chinese man. Cool. And he... How much do they do do that? Oh, they they do it a a lot. They don't do it a lot. Here's what they do. They They do. They do it tastefully. Oh. They blacken his hair. (laughs) Okay. They they straighten it, and they give give it that kind of spiky type of look. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
but that's and then they put him they they put him in 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 loose fitting clothing robes. That's a lot. Like, he's in that's that, a lot. No, well, there's no makeup. There's no makeup. It's that's not, enough. Comparatively, listen uh, for the seventies. It's not it's, okay. It's obviously not great, no matter what. Like, yeah. But it's go, not. A, it's not. A, I've, I'm watching the show. It's not. It's not. It's no fucking. It's you know, Mickey Rooney. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. a far cry from that. But yeah. the thing that's he he does really uh, play it up. He's acting. He doesn't do an accent or anything. But he kind of he speaks in proverbs and he speaks slowly mm. and like. Is mm. anyway, he's a he's a Chinese uh he's a he's a uh what's it called? Um uh Shaolin mm-hmm. uh monk mm-hmm. and he knows Kung Fu. He was trained by Master Po, who's blind. Okay. And he basically has to grab a pebble out of the master's hand, and when he can grab the pebble, it's time for him to leave. Sounds but like he it's... then he uh he graduates from the monastery and he goes and now he's in the Wild West. And he's wandering around, and he uses his uh, Chinese ways and wisdoms <laughs> to basically solve these problems between uh, cowboys and outlaws who are fighting each other, who are, for example, stealing things or being racist or um, raping women or stuff like that. And then he comes in, and he so- kind of says, like, oh, is not the way of peace more whatever. Wow. And, then and it's that. incredible. It's the best show of Did all time. Did you know mm-hmm. David Carradine's brother is the dad on Lizzie McGuire. Wow. Fun fact of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I think his brother is in well, oh, uh, Revenge of the Nerds also. But I'm the also guy, on the guy Keith? from Revenge of the Nerds. We're yeah. talking Keith or Robert? The there... one with the black hair who goes... <laughs> that one? I haven't seen Revenge of the Nerds. Me neither. Well, I just, it's not good. My show corner... Uh, Joe's but Joe's can, I, oh, can shows. I add can I add one thing about Kung Fu before we go to mm-hmm. Joe's shows? Yeah. I'm ninety nine percent sure that Kung Fu is what Xavier Renegade Angel was based on. Oh, okay. Because it's all him wandering through the desert and going to towns and there's people fighting and he go he says some kind of wisdom adage. That, I don't know I don't know what mm-hmm. that is either. Well yeah. you you'll get alt enough well, someday to be yeah. watching a show like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well my show ass. my show is also takes place in the seventies. Uh. The seventeen seventies. Well, so mine was uh, not doesn't take place in the seventies. From the Wild West. Oh, it's from the seventies. It's from the seventies. The seventeen seventies. <laughs> John Adams on HBO. You have been watching that since I lived with you. That's not true. I only watched you, one episode in 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 your movie. I only watched one episode back then. I really, I really dove in deep. Yeah. And I'm doing corresponding Wikipedia articles. Wow. Before they even pass the um. The like Alien and Sedition acts. I'm like, about there's to aliens in this show. Yeah, John Adams <laughs> did. Well, I got a way better show idea than regular ass John Adams now. Well, I mean, yeah. So it's really John Adams didn't seem to really be so gung ho about the Alien and Sedition acts, mm-hmm. but he left uh, George Washington's cabinet in. Uh, you know, he get, kept their jobs, and they're kind of Hamilton's guys. And Hamilton, not as cool as we all think he is. Because I don't songs. think he's that cool because of because of the songs. Yeah, is the reason I don't think he's that. I cool. think that every single that one of these American history <laughs> figures is fucking stupid compared to like Willie Santos or like who's that Keith Kirch- Heath Kirchard or any probably skateboarders. These are guys that are way cooler than the founding fathers. It's just a thing. I, I I think about this John Adams guy. It's just him and his wife. He absolutely loves her. He's she's his number one confidant. That's right. And he, he's just alive during the absolute craziest yeah, time in the man, world. Yeah, man, I would no, love to be alive back in those days. There's basically there's no time he, period that I can see in a movie that I won't. As long as they show a house in a movie that's set in a different time period, I think, God, I would love to be alive oh, in that oh, time. If I couldn't just I and honestly, I honestly, now that I say that, even if they don't show a house, yeah. if it's old, long enough ago that there's only jungles, it, I would every, still like to be back do you think, then. Do you think I Founding Fathers, somebody, you guys would be... Do you think you guys think you would be in like a Founding Fathers? No. I would, I would have the shit. I would have the ear of one of the Founding Fathers. I would be like a worm <laughs> tongue. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would I would George be one Washington. of those people that dies from eating mud back then. Yeah, well, I would eat, eat mud I would eat then. a mud soaked pig or something, and then I would get a disease that like we've cured so many times over. Yeah, I, you would you would eat bandit. mud and then get sick, and then they would like cut your stomach open. Yeah, they would cut my stomach open and, and take it out. You know and what would be try like, why is it alive? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You what know the hell? Incredible if you were around back in the in the founding fathers days when mm-hmm. they're starting the country and they're writing the Constitution, the the Declaration of Independence, and all this stuff. And you're like, say you're like a you're like a bandit or you're like mm-hmm. a, a murderer. I, I'm like a highwayman. I'm a thief. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. stopping people on the road and I'm robbing them and I'm killing them. And they're in the they're in the room and they're writing the Constitution and they're like, all right, we'll start with like 
uh, let's see, human rights. And I'll be like, well, you should probably make robbing legal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and murder should be good. And Just being right there in the room. Being, <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. The one guy who's yes. Like, <laughs> I decree oh, murder legal. <laughs> yeah, you should write one line in there. The guys with the last name Smith get extra yeah. money from yeah. their job. Yeah. And make sure it's, yeah, the Smith thing. Yes, yeah, Smith gets money. And then yeah. he's, he's writing it so yes, fast. Yes, of course. Because he has yeah, to write yeah, it by like, hand. Yeah, yeah. They, don't, they don't have erasers back no, then exactly. either. It's ink. They'd it's have to start all over. No! <laughs> Smith! <laughs> Fuck you! God fucking Smith. damn it! Oh, I can't believe Smith did that. Because back then, I mean, nowadays, you know, back nowadays people are like, oh, every crew, they got the one manipulator. Mm -hmm. mm. They got the one bad guy. Back then, every crew had the, the one serial killer. When yeah. serial killers weren't invented yet. The guy who who's killed 555 people. Mm -hmm. Because in some there's no war, way to track that. In some not even in a war. Then. He just goes into the forest and he kills people. Yeah. He finds people who are camping in between towns and they're making coffee in their little pot and he just yeah. kills them. It well, is that a little crazy thing. how easy crime was. Oh, yeah. yeah. But the thing I was going to say move. about the... <laughs> yeah, no, like it's just You were like, saying in the houses. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I didn't do that. <laughs> the first... <laughs> The first instinct when you kill somebody, it's like I guess I'll just move. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna leave this body here. I'm yeah. just gonna go away yeah. from it. <laughs> there were, no there one were like, will know. There, there is somebody in my family tree. That I did like ancestry uh, during COVID, and I found that there is like somebody I'm a distant, distant relative of in the 1700s murdered his wife and then tried to like weekend at Bernie's her. <laughs> like there's like a, like an article or some shit where it's like uh something something Doran like let like hit his wife <laughs> over the head with like a hammer Damn. and then propped her up in the house when like the tech guy came to prove it. it's dude. like I it's gotta also find the I feel article. Like, I feel like thing, women got yeah. such like a low oh, dude the funny level of respect of that, that they're probably just like hello man like, yeah <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, she's very well behaved today yeah. 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 That's a good wife. The funniest part <laughs> of that is that, like, back that, like, you if, if, like trying to weekend and burn your wife is you could literally bury her in your front yard, yeah, and they would not, it would, they would not, they would be like, yeah, she left. Well, you could, yeah. you could also and just be, be like, like, oh, yeah, no, okay, she, okay, all yeah, right. Oh well. no, she she caught like the bird disease, yeah. and now she's gone. Yeah. She's on her period, so she, she went to the woods. Yeah, <laughs> she <laughs> fell down the stairs and she landed on my lacrosse stick. Yeah, <laughs> I also I invented I invented a new sport and I called it lacrosse. <laughs> yes, yeah, well, stole it. Well, yeah, yeah. Mm. From, from the Native Americans. Native. So that's yeah. why I said lacrosse, because it yeah. would have been around back then. But you were talking about how anytime you see a house in a movie, you're like, oh, I wish back I lived back then. Anytime I see somebody cooking over like a fire, mm. yeah. That's where I like like the scene in Star Wars where he's eating that fucking like chicken nugget over the <laughs> over the little ass lamp. Like, man, I wish I could fucking eat that in the woods, yeah. man. Oh my god. For me, you know what it is? It's more than a house. It's showing a main street. Anytime mm. they show mm. a main street, I'm like, fuck. John Adams, they I have a, need to be they had a full scale old state house in Boston. Oh, my yeah. God. And I was like, that's fucking cool. How like, far into it are you? I finished it. Oh, nice. Um, How many seasons is it? One? It's one. It's seven episodes. Yeah. I, we watched some of that in eighth grade. They showed it. It was one of those TV days. They showed yeah. us that mm. part of that. They showed us The Patriot. Mel Gibson's The Patriot mm. in, in my eighth grade class. And same, there's a scene in that vibe. movie where a man gets his head destroyed by a cannonball, and I was like, this is fucking yeah. sick. Mm. What's the, oh, uh, is it called, um, what's it called, Glory? Is that the one? Yeah. We watched that, too. Matthew is that Broderick Matthew Broderick? And Den no, it's not Denzel, is it? <laughs> Don't know. Don't remember. All I remember is Matthew Broderick. No, it's Morgan Freeman, but then there's <laughs> oh, another yeah, one. Freeman is there's another it. one of those kind of movies with Denzel in it, right? Or am I? I don't know. Am I, don't I completely usually, the thing being is, I don't usually watch movies that are set in that time period, but then whenever <laughs> yeah. I do, I'm like, Oh, what John yeah. Adams is all wow. John Adams is like a hundred percent. They shoot every conversation in just like a super crazy Dutch angle, and mm -hmm. then you're like, oh, that's like a real guy. Like it makes it, it takes away all the like weird boring shit. Yeah. It's Paul Giamatti, right? Yeah, he fucking crushes it. <laughs> My thing, I if, gotta sign this fucking Declaration of Independence. Damn it, I gotta fucking sign it. Oh Jesus Christ, I'm gonna fucking kill myself. I can't sign this thing. Any show with a mug, a warm mug, and a blanket. Mm. And you're saying anything you, over you're a fire. You're doing that, or I want watch it. You watch somebody drink a mug. With well, a blanket. sometimes I'll do it simultaneously, but uh, it's like I'm but in your show. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'm John Adams. <laughs> it's me, John Adams. Um, yeah, every it's always for me. I'm watching something set in the old west, and I'm like, and to my fiance, I'm like, wow, 
wouldn't you like to live back then? She's like, no. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, like I, don't, I don't care. You're coming back. You're coming back I in think time. If I get the time machine, you fucking yep, coming. You're coming. I think the furthest I'm not back doing this time, alone. Yeah. Are you crazy? The furthest back in time I always want to go is like like 1975, something like that. I don't want to be back in time anytime after that. Well, we must acknowledge our mm. privilege in going back in time. Exactly. Yeah. That was kind of my joke with why my fiance doesn't want to go is because she's a woman in the old west. She mm-hmm. would probably be her body would be filled with mud yeah. by a person who grabbed her. That's, that's messed <laughs> up, man. It's horrible. I would want to go. Look, and me, I see it, and I'm like, wow, I would get to eat lunch next to a cowboy. In this <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily be a cowboy, but I get to see the sheriff. You'd get to mm-hmm. eat, like, that's the thing. You'd the probably thing. become a sheriff if you just kind yeah. of talked smart enough. I was thinking Rango about, style. About, the, about a guy who's like, uh, who gets like pulled over by the cops and he's like, like, fuck the cops. Fuck you. Like, I'm not like, I get out of my face. And the guy's like, uh, I'm the sheriff. And he's like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Shit. sheriff." <laughs> the thing about like all that, like old, when you see like the old food in like <laughs> 19, <laughs> I'm so like, that's the only thing I'm focused on. But like, think about just like eating like anything in like the 1700s or like the cowboys and stuff. It's like, Oh, that probably tasted like shit. Yeah, it's all bad. It's all like like food until like the eighties was all like bland as fuck. Food was bad until twenty twenty one. Food honestly, <laughs> for you, I know you didn't you food would was eat bad sandwiches. Until- you would eat a turkey sandwich that was just bread, one no, slice of turkey, slice of bread. True. Not true at all. <laughs> Roast beef, first one, of all. One Cameron one is the slice, type though. One really no, no, thin no, 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 slice no. of turkey in between the You think I like cups? bread? Bread makes Cut you want to throw perfectly up. to shape the bread <laughs> yeah. slice. Yeah. No, if you think I, if you think I'm cutting or preparing any of my food in any way, yeah. you've got the wrong reason. I I always like well, I think that was what Patrick was saying with your one slice yeah. of meat. Well, you're yeah. saying cutting it to fit the bread. I would never do that. No. Okay, sorry. No, Maybe it's pre-cut. So over, it's pre-cut. You've overstepped. Sorry. You brought, you <laughs> brought the bread Get that's out. shaped like the turkey slice. Mm-hmm. A bread. I bought a slice of bread shaped like a turkey slice. <laughs> turkey bread. Yeah. yeah. It's called turkey bread. They sell it's it. called turkey bread, and it's for you. They made it for you. No, they I've, sell it at the store. This year, I'm going to start making some, putting some stuff in my sandwiches. Yeah. Can you imagine a can of beans? You've been riding for two I days. You eat a hot can and of beans. And that fucking coffee, man. It's always <laughs> the coffee and the beans. And it's just coffee with just coffee grounds at the bottom of mm. it. And you're just drinking. It's all, dude, it's beans, <laughs> bread, but the bacon, though. But you got to imagine, you got to imagine the bacon is good. Yeah. The well, bacon the, like, is probably ha- good. The ham and shit. Well, you, do, yeah. you just have to cut it up. The cured, like, you gotta like make salted. It all that stuff. It's I think funny they, that that all, like, all these delicious meats exist just because it's like, it's not safe to eat this shit. So we're just going to put it in a yeah. barrel of salt forever. Yeah. And then maybe it's going to be okay. That's like, uh, what's that shit called? Man. Ham hocks? Ham hocks. Is the hocks, is the, hocks <laughs> the part of the leg? <laughs> Ham hocks. <laughs> no, Ham hocks. I think my, num- my <laughs> number yeah, one. got hungry. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be so awesome to eat like ham oh. <laughs> right now. What My number a, one, what's a ham hock? It's a hawk of ham. Yeah, but what's I a feel hawk? Like, I think it looks like a cartoon. It's the cartoon style. With a th- circle in the middle? Yeah, I think Julio, so. pull up a ham I'm hock. pretty sure. I would love to try one. Smelling so we need to see what a ham anymore. hock looked like. He's searching ham hock. H O C K. Uh, hamburger <laughs> from the future. <laughs> what is a ham hock? Oh, it's a pork. Just go to images. Okay, so it's a pig's knuckle. Oh well, it does. Yeah, it is the cartoon. It is a yeah, cartoon yeah. style. Yeah. But I didn't know it was the knuckle. I would well, eat that actually. Of course you would. Huh. It's part I'll, of the pig. I would eat it if it tastes good. I would eat it if there was a big <laughs> fat chunk of meat on it. I was thinking about the fucking stu- the the stupidest hypothetical we ever came up with the other day. It was the one ah oh fuck, I forget what it was, but the I forget what the first part of it was, but you said would you rather do this or get a massage from an expert? <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about that just like would you rather eat a food that's bad or get a massage <laughs> from an expert? <laughs> This is, I was on my way uh, somewhere. Yeah. I just started I'm not laughing the massage, again. Not me. No. Would no, you rather? No. Would you rather eat food made by an expert or get a massage from an expert? Food. <laughs> a thousand percent food. Wait, is it the same expert? It's an expert in both. In both. I want yeah. the food, man. And no matter what he's but, but done, no matter wait, 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 wait. Expert no is matter an expert what, in. no matter what he, he is an the, expert, but we don't know yeah, what he's exactly. an expert of. No matter what he's you choose, he's doing the other thing first. 
Mm. Okay, here's so what I do. He's lotioning hands and he's cooking, or he's cooking hands and he's massaging. Here's what we can reduce the question down to using the using the power of mathematics. Mm -hmm. If we assume that, uh, so it could the best case is that he's an expert in food, an expert the in ex massage. Expert but we don't, but wait, we wait, don't, wait, wait, wait. Expert, expert equals X. But we don't know. Okay, <laughs> but if, he, if he's an X. In something else, X. the uh -huh. worst the worst we can assume is: Would you rather get a massage from somebody who's terrible at massages or food by someone who's bad at making food? Easily the food. But he's an expert in something. He's an expert in something, <laughs> right? <laughs> That's the he's thing. a math genius. I'm about the, worst, <laughs> the, thing, the worst case. The thing we got to th the thing we got to think about here is that he is an expert in one thing. Well, how committed is the massage? It's like sensual. But is it like is a it, massage if he's is gonna hurt someone, you? Well, someone who's bad at giving a massage is just gonna not really give a massage. No, they can yeah. they can hurt you. Yeah. I've been hurt by massage before. Me too. I've I my nerve my nerve was pinched by a massage oh. in high school, mm. and it was excruciating. The worst pain, some of the worst pain I've ever experienced in my life. She God pinched damn. your she pinched your worm. She pinched my worm, man, and my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> she pinched your worm and your shoulder at the same time. Ah. <laughs> it hurts so bad. I literally think it's the worst pain I have ever experienced. I've only gotten one, or no, now two. You now know what two. the worst? I got one massage when I was a kid because mm. I hurt my arm or my back or something. Yeah. My mom was trying to cure my depression and with I, massages. I was really nervous. And it, well, by it, it getting worked, me buying massages now. for me. I'm bright and happy on the uh, new year. Well, mm -hmm. I was nervous and then I just immediately fell asleep. Didn't feel anything. During wow. the massage, you were asleep? I just you like, wasted it, man. Yeah, I know. Well, you but probably woke you up take, feeling Did you take all your clothes off? You don't. Mm. Okay, you remember. You remember. You bro. remember. I don't remember. And then a big smile. <laughs> you had you had your winky out. You had your winky out at full mast. I think I was wearing shorts or like. Yeah, I leave on my leave on my undies. Yeah. I haven't got a massage since high, since that time that they killed me. Mm. Too scared. Yeah. yeah. That was the, a good. That was an expert. Pain. That the nerve pain, bro. It's the worst. Anytime and the, when I got my, I got my wisdom tooth out over the like the break that we were on, and. Uh, the, there, there is something called the sympathetic pain that you will get in your mouth once a wisdom tooth is removed, is what my doctor was telling me. And for some reason, it was this tooth. And the night before I was coming back here, I could not sleep because there is a pain in the nerve in this tooth. Oh, God. And I was just up all night just going. Mm! Yeah, that's And I was horrible. taking these codeine pills they gave me. Nerve pain was, is the worst. Oh, my God. I couldn't feel shit after that. But that was fucking. It's like a tree. All right, guys. Let's get some so one New Year's resolution from everybody. Oh, I already said mine, but I'm going to get my money up and I'm going to become strong. Okay. Um, I would say I want to uh, do everything I do, but a little bit better and a little bit more mm. yeah. dedicated. And for me, it's year of the grind. Yeah. Yep. Seems like we're all kind of in the same. Thing. Yeah. We're all. <laughs> what's, the well, year of the grind. what's it's the year of what? It, what? Yeah. What animal is this year? Well, I'm saying let's let's think of one. I would say oh, we're the, making up a new animal. Year of the ham. Hawk. Year of the scorpion. Um, well, no, just like it what is the year of reason. what? You know, like I just got chills saying year of the scorpion. <laughs> year of the scorpion is too scary. <laughs> But it's the I don't year want to live scorpion. in the year of the scorpion. I see a no, scorpion. No, no, no. It's I've, the year of the it's the year of the scorpion. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take this frog out. I have no connection to a scorpion. No, now you do. Because it's, it's the, the year of the scorpion. You subscribe to the fable of the scorpion and the frog? Mm-hmm. Okay. We well, are the scorpion. I'm gonna need the everybody frog to, is I'm gonna all need of everybody you. to to Google the scorpion and the frog right now. The frog is all of you, and we said. and we are the evil scorpion. <laughs> and we're gonna take all of you out. We're to get nowhere. <laughs> we're not getting. We're not making. We're not making it across this river. Halfway through the year, we're gonna fall off. We we'll fall off. The scorpion's gonna fall off the frog. Mm -hmm. So the frog. The scorpion's not sting stinging the frog. He's well, no, he stings off. the frog. And the frog dies. And then the frog dies. And, and the, the frog's like, what? The, dies. Why the hell did you do that? We're both going across the river together. Did you guys like, see the? Because I'm evil, motherfucker. Because it's in his nature. Because I'm a bastard. Did you guys see the video of the ant like fucking people? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. that was pretty crazy. Yeah. Year of the ant. Okay, I guess it's not year, year of the of scorpion. The year of the aunt. Year of the aunt. Year could of the be. aunt. I guess it could be. Year of the aunt. We get into fine Chardonnay. Year of the baby. Year of the, the baby, baby fud. Baby. Year of baby fud. Year of the baby. I mean, it's I feel like obviously I feel like there's year of the hunted. For us, Ooh. the obvious answer like is year of the frog. Year of the Hunted is kind of cool. Year of Sullivan, Year of the Frog. Yeah, I guess. Uh, wow, I didn't even think about the scorpion. And the, we need to have a scorpion mascot. We need to have an enemy for Sullivan that is a scorpion. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. That is a really good idea. Um, I think it might be Year of the Guy. Year of Man. <laughs> year of Boys. Year, year of Humankind. Year of Human. <laughs> Enough of these fucking Wait, yeah, animals. Yeah, I guess who is the who is your pick for twenty twenty four? 
person of the year. Person of the year. Oh, okay. After it's that, it's a little too early to decide, but <laughs> you just have to make a call. It's a, it's a yeah, guess. yeah. It's uh, a it's a prediction. I'm gonna say this this year they're gonna pick Travis Kelts. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'm try, okay, I'm gonna try and get like a long shot. I want to think of like, a, like for example, like a CEO who's a CEO of a company right now that's not important at all, but who, um, who like it, someone who's well, gonna whoever, rise to the who occasion. Who do you think is you know gonna win I mean? the presidency this year? Oh, that's, that's Trump, a, right? That's an easy, that's an easy winner of that. Like that's probably the odds-on favorite yeah. is just Trump by. Yeah, but I want to get, I want to get like a, a long shot. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean? No, I'm no, no. To, you want to make a big. Yeah, call. I'm trying to think here. Like, I guess maybe like, hmm. Maybe like somebody, the CEO of a car company or something. So yeah. like a Rivian. Su- What's that? Rivian. It's the cr- crazy looking trucks. Am- you know. know the new Amazon trucks? No. Let's see who the CEO of Rivian is. RJ Scaring. <laughs> <laughs> RJ Scaring is probably my. Oh yeah, my I'm God. the Times person of the year. RJ Scaring. <laughs> <laughs> Reapers Jeepers Scaring. Oh my God. Reaper. Who does he? He looks exactly like somebody that I I can't put my finger on it. He, I don't know. He kind of looks like one of the like face. Yeah, I know. This he is looks gonna like be AI year. generated. Now, this person doesn't. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's the new. Uh, I'm gonna say it's the new guy who's now in charge of Argentina. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, that's not a bad pick. I think he's gonna um, do something crazy. Yeah, he could do something crazy. Here's my here's here's the next thing we have to decide on for 2024. It's celebrity death pool. Oh yes, yes, yes. I've been thinking about that. I'm getting a little. Who worried. do you think? Justin Bieber. I've been Justin do, I've, Bieber. Another, Justin another Bieber? car crash could go down. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Sorry, uh, I have to vent that somebody's trying to. I'm gonna go with a little grim pick. I'm gonna go Brendan Fraser. Wow, Ooh. that's not a bad pick. I've, because I've, I saw uh, that movie, The Whale, and he was so monstrously <laughs> fat, he looked close to death. I also yeah. just think there's a thing of like his whole narrative had this thing of like great peak Same, yeah. valley mm-hmm. and then now kind of back on this top and i do it's, it's a i like i don't want it to be true i don't yeah. what if him and i don't know how to pronounce his name key uh barry keegan key he, Kui, yeah Kui, 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 um, Kwan, yeah i oh, feel they bad both, they both what if they both die at the same time <laughs> buddy holly plane yeah, style yeah or they do oh, like but who's the third person that you don't really think oh, of on the plane because it's always the like big bopper who's their big bopper <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the big bopper is flying the plane oh big bopper is the one <laughs> the third guy still. yeah 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 <laughs> Hello, baby. <laughs> they're like, whoa, holy shit, the big popper's back from the dead. Yeah, and then they're like, ah, and then, then the plane go, crashes. They go, wait, if you're here, who's yeah. flying the plane? <laughs> yeah. And you know, it's funny as fuck when they say it because uh, of their acting skills. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's a scene from a movie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no, who else? It, under the age of under the age of 60, who else? Um, um Helen Mirren. She's older than 60. Older than 60. Meryl Streep will die this year. Oof. I have to actually. The, you can't. You can't have me say anything because there's been two times where a celebrity has died. Who? And a week before I have said something. Who? Betty White and Henry Kissinger. Okay, buddy. Mm. <laughs> but so don't dread twenty year old people. Don't death note use, over don't, there. Don't, don't, don't <laughs> do not. That everyone says is going to die every single week. Yeah, but the timing <laughs> that when I say it is crazy. Um, Gus and it I happened. It happened. No, I, you know what oh, happens is I man. say that I'm going to kill them and then they die within like a week. Why would you want to kill Betty White? I don't know why I said it. I was being random. Okay. Say one right now. Ooh, it's no, going to be no, a young person. Who are you going to kill? Who are you going to kill? That's what I was going to say. It can't be an old person. That's what I'm saying. And I can't say that boring. I'm going to Old person is boring for celebrity car. death pool. Yeah. Ryan Reynolds. Deadpool. That's too <laughs> much. That's, that's way too, too far. Dies on a stunt. Mm. I could see TJ Miller. Who does their own stunts in movies? <laughs> right? Tom Cruise. Yeah. Tom Cruise could have a stunt go wrong. That would be one of the most incredible ways for him to die of all yeah. time. Oh, you know who does <laughs> you know who does his own stunts? I think the guy from uh I think Homelander from the boys does his own stunts uh-huh. some, mm-hmm. some of the time. What he if Harrison die. Ford oh, over passes 60 away? This over year. 60. Harrison Ford passes away. That'd be a crazy celebrity death. Oh, no. the uh this Ansel, is actually- El- Ansel Elgort. Ooh. Okay, that's where we draw the line because I don't want to talk about celebrity deaths anymore. Okay, we should talk I, about celebrities being to. born. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's I the think there will be a new singer born this there, year. Named I think Amelia. Amelia, the singer, will be born this year. I'm gonna and say, you know what? There's going to be a new 
teen actor who has amazing chops Watch that out. when he gets older they're gonna be like he used to be in like a disney show but now he's mm. like a fucking in 20 2044 amelia's first album will be draw, dropping and it's called beautiful flower 2044 oh 44 20 year old her first album will be dropping and it's called beautiful flowers in the sky i'm also so I'm, keep an eye out for that i'm getting like a feeling about a world leader whose last name is gonzalvez you know that spelling of gonzalez mm-hmm. with a v yeah it's that's gonna come up. That's gonna be born, born born this year. Okay, okay. guys, we got some predictions here, but I've mm. pulled together some predictions from the internet from for us as well. Here we go. Um, can we so, pull up what the before we go any further? Can we pull up what animal this year is? Yeah, mm. search zodiac year. Yeah, I do want to know. Wait, that. wait, everyone guess. Everyone guess. Oh, um, um, rabbit, <laughs> rabbit, rabbit. Oh, it's like rabbit year. I'm gonna guess. Ox. Oh, dragon. Oh, oh that's cool. Wow. Actually, this year. Wait, is 2024 gonna be so will be sick. the year of the wood dragon. <laughs> Whoa. That's the lamest possible dragon. No, no, true. no. A wood dragon could look cool. You know, the thing wood about dragon is bad because it implies the dragon is artificial. Anything else? Air dragon, fire dragon, water no, dragon. It's like, no, a, it's like no, a wood it's dragon. A dragon that it's br- like an it's a dragon that uh, breathes out grass. It's like an ant dragon. <laughs> nah. It's a dragon that has grass breathing ability. It's imagine, uh, wait, wait, wait. Picture wood. this. Imagine going into an old forest, an old Chinese mm. forest, and you see a massive tree, and then you look away, and then you hear something move, and then you look back. Eyes it's big up. eyes open up, up and it's going. Have you ever seen like a tree that like curves <laughs> up? Yeah. That'd be awesome. One of those trees that like like has a curve that goes up. Like it's like a pine tree that grew wrong and mm, it like it yeah. curves. And it's a wing. Curves. And then right. you're like, you're like, oh, this this tree kind of looks like a, a yeah. dragon. And then you, you ever, sit on it and it fucking gets up and oh, flies away. Oh, imagine there's like a big branch that and looks like you, a big fucking dragon's dick and you sit <laughs> on it. And it fucks and you. It fucks you, 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 know? fucks you in the butt. It fucking fucks you. Can you? Isn't it funny that dragons are just dinosaur bones? You Not think, always. Chill on, you ever think chill about on that? that you just chill on it. that mind blowing. Can you imagine? Revelation. Can you imagine? Apparently, that's why Thomas Je- back to bring back to the <laughs> apparently that's why uh, Thomas Jefferson sent uh, Lewis and Clark west was because he on his giant property on in Monticello he found dinosaur bones. And he just assumed that those creatures still existed yeah. in like the unexplored areas. You would. Uh, Isn't that yeah. fucking crazy? Like you, it's, awesome. it's, it's way harder it's to incredible. be like, oh, this was millions and millions yeah, of hundreds wouldn't. of millions of years ago. Yeah. It just bone existed. It's yeah. so amazing how stupid everybody was back then because they didn't have the phone to look up and correct themselves. <laughs> I would give Thomas Jefferson a phone. <laughs> I'd go back in time. I'd give Thomas Jefferson a phone. I'd show him squirt off twerk videos. <laughs> I would squirt on him. And I'd show him world star immediately. I would get back in time talking to Thomas Jefferson. I'd be like, all right, first off, buddy, Thomas Jefferson, it's out. From now on, you're TJ. Uh-huh. Yeah. TJ. TJ Malone. <laughs> <laughs> and you're a singer. <laughs> you know what? I need to do this is called a microphone. <laughs> yeah. I would I would I would sit. <laughs> I would sit him down and go TJ Malone, and then I would just press play on a beat. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. play I him. I play him Dude, like I play him. I play him the, the instrumental of Mint Condition, Pretty Brown Eyes, and I'd say you have to sing over this right they, the fuck back now. Back then, in those times, they would have been the most incredible freestylers ever because this is the age of people saying stuff like indubitably yeah. and the pursuit of happiness. Yeah. And so they would be going fucking crazy. Oh my god, guys! They, think, it would be unreal. I was thinking of Thomas Jefferson more like slow R and B style singing type of thing. Because I think we just invented epic rap battles of history. <laughs> we did. They don't do that on epic rap battle of history though. They modernize it. Yeah. They say, and what's more, I fucked your bitch. And it's like, yeah. they wouldn't say that back then. They, they would, would say, say I, per- I, I engaged in adultery with your woman. I engaged yeah. in adultery now, with Now, if we had poultry. you writing for yeah. epic rap battles? See? Adultery, You're going to need a poultice. <laughs> <laughs> These burns, you can't hold this. Mm. Hot like a coal is. Mm-hmm. I shot you off in a catapultus. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'd show... Catapultus, exactly. I'd show Thomas Jefferson a <laughs> pog and would change his life. I would show, I'd show him pogs. I yeah. would show I'd him... I'd show him pogs in, in the paper and also the white women. Mm-hmm. I would show would, him, like, and food. None of the, Nothing would get done. Yeah. <laughs> America wouldn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you have 10 <laughs> seconds in, You have 10 seconds in the time travel. Just one video and you, go, <laughs> <laughs> you go back, you go back and it's like America you is go just back, yeah, owned no, by you go, England. You go to the future, uh, you go back to 2024 and there's literally dinosaurs again. <laughs> <laughs> All society has completely crumbled. <laughs> It's Planet of the Apes. It's Planet of the Apes within 300 years. Yeah, you're, you're like, you have 10 seconds. You're outside of the room. You open the door from across the room. You show them your phone. Yeah. Everything, everything is gone. 
you look in your wallet and huh? all of the all of the money, all the president's faces are gone. They just have squirrels and bears. <laughs> 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 I don't know what happened. <laughs> you, you go back to the future. There's like a uh, like a primitive style and a, a Planet of the Apes type man. He says, I don't know what. Somebody went back with a device and showed him what, what women could do with their butts in the future. <laughs> yeah. It changed the course of history. He lost they tried his... to invent. All the humans invented a time machine. They went way too far in the future. He lost his mind trying to replicate the squirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It might, he's in, he's up in the like in the in his attic like in like Nightmare Before Christmas when he's trying yeah. to re-engineer Christmas yeah. when he's like, oh, like you're showing him Howard yeah. Stern Sibian compilation. Everyone everyone in the in the town is like down on the ground level like looking up like oh, what's he doing up there? And there's like flashing lights and liquid squirting onto the windows. And the attic windows. <laughs> he has a chalkboard. He's like scrolling <laughs> equations. Uh-huh. He's singing. The, what's this? Yeah. <laughs> 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 da, 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 da. <laughs> it's exactly Nightmare Before Christmas, but instead of Halloween and Christmas, it's Thomas uh, it's Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson, <laughs> and squirting. Yeah, Thomas Jefferson looking up, looking making up squirting, making squirting, <laughs> <laughs> women squirting. It's hers this time. Okay, twenty twenty four predictions. I got these from a bunch of different websites and blogs. I pulled them all together. I kind of got just a wide range of all these possible different things that people say might happen in twenty twenty four. So. Okay. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to go ahead and go through these and read these out to you guys, and we'll see what we think if we think All that right. these things are likely to happen in 2024. Okay. okay. Wait, wait, wait. So, okay. <laughs> I got it. Never mind. A, well, yeah, a bunch of different stuff. All right. So let's let's check it out here. This, are, not, this is not, not by Judeo. This is by Cameron. Let's go ahead here. So first off, we have this blog called Stout Standards. You this can see a they beer have, place. You'd think it would be, but you can see here they have their different. Uh, they have their different sections on the website, like Marmalute. Welcome, the Malamute Saloon. Huh. Uh, coin, well, saloon has beer. Coin hunting, wet articles, brain farts, uh. treasure expo photos, how to use a shovel, etc. Now let's go to the next slide here, and you'll see that this is actually musings from an old beeper <laughs> <laughs> is, the, is the header of this blog. And so I bet you're wondering what a beeper is. Oh, my God. And here's his article. He says, 2024, what to expect? And here's a picture of him holding a crystal ball with a picture of him in it. Yeah. Um, and here's what to expect. <laughs> in January, Garrett issues press release stating that will it will indeed introduce a metal detector. He's a beeper. He's a metal detector. Oh. That will be capable of joining the never-ending bitching bash with Mind Lab and Knock. And John Hallen goes off the wagon two days after getting on it. I don't know who John Hallen is. John Hallen must be another beeper. I think it's just He's another metal detector beeper. guy yeah. who this guy does not like. Mm-hmm. Or um, it's like good friends with and is making a funny joke. Yeah, yeah, more likely. But it's funnier to imagine He's he hates him. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to ruin his, he's trying yeah. to tarnish his name. Uh, and then in October, the manufacturers start refining their holiday ads by finding new synonyms for words like deeper, amazing, visual, lightweight, <laughs> multiple savings, etc. But then realize the average techie, which is I guess what they call detectors, won't mm. know what they mean and go back to using deeper, amazing, lightweight, etc. This is a beautiful painting of a community that I had no idea was so yeah. tight. And here's the second thing that happens in October. Hottest new item for techies in October, OD olive green t-shirts for privy diggers with sayings like, show me your shit and I love to stink. <laughs> Did he? So this guy's the beep. This old beeper predicts that in October 2024, we will see a lot of people wearing shirts that say, show me your shit. And I'd love to stink. <laughs> did he go? Is this in order or did he skip? I'm skipping game? around. Yeah, okay. there's yeah. a full. It's all There's 12 different months. Great, I'm not great, taking great. everything from all these uh, websites. Just I was like, worried that he had cut, like three predictions. <laughs> yeah. And we had like 24, 24 predictions for 2024. I just realized oh. that two for wow. each month. This guy's pretty smart. Yeah. Yeah. And then in uh, in December, he says, detector sales soar as many newcomers enter the fray after seeing how quickly you can become financially independent digging in the dirt. Mm. And Dick Stout, that's this guy's <laughs> name, Stout, Stout, what it, whatever it if was. If he is still around. Yeah, Dick Stout, he's like uh-huh. 80-something years old, I found on his website. Dick Stout, if he is still around, will put up his Christmas tree, put a wreath on the door, pour a glass of red, celebrate making it through another year, and start working on his predictions for 2025. Oh. Isn't that so cute? I and then here's it. what he puts at the end of his article here. I love Dick Stout. Happy New Year and cheers. And it's yes. him with a glass of red. It That's looks Dick Stout. Dick, you are the man. I love you. What do we think about Dick's predictions? Dick, predictions. I hope every single one of them comes true. I will personally fund an olive green t-shirt that says, <laughs> I, lo- I love I love to stink. Show me your shit and I love to st- he does, he incre- looks- that's an incredible from an 80 something year old guy coming up with the idea for an olive green t-shirt that says show, <laughs> show me your, your shit. shit it's unreal yeah, it's, it's so incredible good. 
<laughs> All right, the next blog we're going to look at here he does is look called... Like, you know it what it should say? Okay, it says, show me your shit, and then on the back it says, copyright dick stout. <laughs> That's a good idea. I would say we shit, should, contact shit should also be a metal detector. The eye should oh, be a metal detector. That's oh, a good idea. Because then it's, it's funny because it's for privy diggers, which I guess there's what people who go into the septic tanks and stuff, but yeah. who would think that? Who would know? I don't even, I don't even want to say privy diggers. No. Yeah. It just no. doesn't sound good. It does not. It sounds like a, it sounds like a slur from like 1930. Yeah. It really does. It could be. This guy is old. We don't <laughs> yeah. know his Dick's background. Dead. We have no. Yeah, there's no sign of how. Yeah. you know, nice of a dude. <laughs> born in born in what? 1940. Yeah, something like that. He looks like a face app. He mm, really does. Doesn't he? I thought he was at first. Um, the next blog we're looking at is it ain't holy water. Ah, uh, and this is uh, what what this blog says here. Chief next knows wetter. Wait, yeah, what he says say? what many are predicting for 2024. And we have an show. image. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 2021, it shows a bunch of people who just got their vaccines. And 2024, it shows the same amount of gravestones. Huh. Are well, we rocking with this prediction for 2024? I don't know. I don't uh, think so. Um, I hope not, because I got fucking I got tricked into that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna say no. No, we're not rocking with this one. With uh, with it ain't holy water. Mm. No, I mean I would say because pro- also you know I would say graves. Are less and less popular too. True, yeah. people are getting put up into space on hot air balloons. Taxidermy these days, uh, burnt to crisp. People are getting stewed. Can burnt. you go back one slide? I just want to read what this says. Uh, oh yeah, Chief knows whether sarcasm derived through the bottom of a glass. Wow, and then it's a picture of I think whiskey. Okay, so this is an alcoholics blog. Yeah, it ain't holy water. Ah. If you understand yeah. the meaning, it looks, like, it looks like he created his webpage on a PowerPoint slide. Yeah, <laughs> it really does, doesn't All it? All right, what's the next? Uh, what's the next yeah, what's prediction, the next prediction he's got? here? This is this is. I'm just going through random stuff here it's i'm not that was his only prediction oh, okay uh, this was a news article that says <laughs> time will tell i'm a time traveler from 26 2671 my seven wildest 2024 <laughs> predictions from ufo discoveries to whole countries disappearing i love i love a time traveler coming back yeah. from 16 from 2671 and a, writing a, a like yeah. shitty little article this yeah. is an, uh, <laughs> even better than this this article is not written by the time traveler it's written by someone who saw the time traveler's predictions which are all on uh, tiktok uh, <laughs> this is a very audacious <laughs> time traveler too who has some very interesting things to say about okay. 2024 we'll cool. see if these happen the self-proclaimed time traveler first predicted that on may 21st 2024 a cloud would be made self-aware by an alien species he said the cloud would turn hostile and attack random cities around the globe so spe- specifically san francisco berlin and london followed by quote terrible thunderstorms and flooding he says there's going to be a living cloud on may 21st okay this that's <laughs> <laughs> Do we scary. think that might happen? I hope I not. I feel like that's like not out of the realm of possibility. A self-aware cloud. Yeah, I mean, I feel like who are we to judge whether or not it is self-aware? Right. Yeah. Exactly. But I can imagine that this. I could see. The, it I can imagine these things happening, and I can imagine a large faction of people believing that this cloud has been angered by something. Definitely. I, I would say that it's realistic. A, it's not a sentient cloud. I think I would think that it was that the aliens have a cloud shaped ship. Or like a cloud yeah, yeah, gun yeah. that shoots mm. a cloud around. Or it's yeah, just global it dorming. To go. Global dorming? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Global dorming. What's All next? Right, what's next here? The Alaric. last prediction Alaric made is that a species of bird previously thought as extinct <laughs> would reappear and begin to hum a scary <laughs> melody. He said people who hear this sound would lose control of themselves <laughs> and hundreds would begin passing away every single day. I think that's true. I think I could. What bird didn't do you think is going to be? Didn't, didn't, they, didn't they clone the dodo <laughs> yeah, bird what and bring it back? Uh, I don't know if they is brought that it back something yet. that They're, I saw they probably that was fake it. and then it just didn't didn't care enough and just believed it. They haven't it. brought them back, but I'm sure they've either synthesized their meat or they're capable of bringing them back. They synthesized woolly mammoth meat, right? Yeah, but I think they also did dodo, maybe. Oh, I would anyway, do dodo after eating that shit. I don't know dodo. what the hell go my back, body would go do. Go back, go back, go back. The dodo, I think, is the obvious choice, but there have been a lot of birds but around dodos in are, history. The dodos, petrol bird? Dodo's the, famously... Mo, some type of moa. What about the, mm. you know, the, what's it called? The like gigantic, crazy the, albatross thing that's yeah. like yeah. 50 foot Or like foot an wings. eagle, uh, 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 what's it called? A terratorn or a, a fucking, um, oh, I there's hate some kind of birds. New Zealand eagle that's like gigantic. That would be a good gigantic one. Gigantic bird. Mm. And also you go the like King Kong skull face thing. Yeah. You know, that one? That yeah. 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 Scary. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's not a bird though. There's a sharp shin uh, hawk on my, in my tree in my backyard. I saw oh. a hawk pick up a mouse from the median. We texted of the about. highway. Oh, yeah. You both were texting each other about hawk stuff. I remember this. Yeah. It's cool to see hawks. Yeah. All right. Here's the next prediction. 
That one's fucking scary this too. Scary I, one. This one I don't like. This oh. is a scary one too. In March 2024, an ancient artifact is found known as Pandora's box. It is opened and releases <laughs> many unknown mysteries. I hope not. The intrigue of these things went out the window with that one. Yeah. That one. This one, we know where you got this idea. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're not yeah. cool. You're not, you're not original. We, <laughs> <laughs> this ain't cool. Listen, we all read these these Greek myth books yeah. back mm-hmm. when we were kids. We all read Percy yeah. Jackson. An ancient artifact. I don't know. Maybe Pandora's <laughs> box. And what, like what do they do? That. Made that it's, <laughs> it's opened, I guess. And wow, what happens <laughs> when it's open? <laughs> Something bad. I guess many unknown, unknown mysteries, mysteries would be released. <laughs> mm. I hate it when an unknown mystery is released. Let, show me a known one. Like, although I will say, maybe we don't know about Pandora's box happening, but I can imagine some unknown mysteries happening this yeah. year. Yeah. Here's the next prediction. Every day is an unknown mystery. Despicable Me 4 <laughs> makes a billion. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I can see it. Is Absolutely. that coming? Is that is that confirmed coming out? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> so this is kind of a, it could be a shot in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would say they. I don't. I don't think they would do Despicable Me for they unless would. it would make They're a bill. Minions. No, I'm saying oh. unless it would make a bill. Right. Mm. You trust them. They are going to be so. What's that DreamWorks. That is illumination. 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 Well, Which, they just did Mario. Did Mario make a bill? Uh, maybe. Mario yeah. made a band. Almost 100%. Mario no definitely way made one band. Yeah, it made a band. At least. <laughs> it at least made it a band, It at least I made think. one band. Yeah. yeah 1.36 1. 1. bill. bill. Jesus Christ. Dude, you, fucking every movie makes so much money now. Mario's, like, all anything Despicable Me, anything animated yeah. is going to be, like, every single country is going to have the most famous actors doing the voices yep. yeah. in it on the press Despicable tour. Me 4 is definitely making a bill. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I'm I'm all in. On lock it in. Lock it. <laughs> yeah. Do you have like a good sound effect for Spar- lock it in? Uh, uh, what's it called? Go on DraftKings. Yeah, put, put, put this in. Lock, lock it, it in. in. <laughs> Wait, I might have a better one, but anyway. Um, Pickable me makes a bill. Yeah. Oh Uh-oh. no, I don't have a better one. These buttons are so sticky. They are. <laughs> They're just like sticking in when I press them. Oh no. It's fine. Do the, uh, that one again. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there we go. It's two sound effects. The prediction. There's two sound effects now, Julio. You have to use the audio. So this is the lock-in sound, and then when we don't like a prediction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here you go. Wait, let's go uh, back and do all. I'm no, just, we're not going to do that. <laughs> um, and guys, we need at the end of the year, we're going to come back and we're going to see what came true. Oh, that's Here's a good another idea. prediction. TikTok Including the trend. Deaths. Cheddar chops. <laughs> Some people don't know anything about cheese. In 2024, other people will have hashtag cheddar chops. They're just charming and good around cheese. Talking about it, tasting it, sharing it. This one I do. I actually do think that this will happen because... Uh, <laughs> hashtag cheddar chops? I think hashtag cheddar chops. I don't think it will go by this name, but I do think that a... Like, <laughs> what was it? Call out what the was hashtag it last to- year? What was it last year? <laughs> Everyone yeah, got into really cheddar into cheddar chops. Is going to be the big cheddar chops. I don't charcuter- think people got into charcuterie. People got into charcuterie, so I think the next logical step Did that is happen? that. Yeah. Well, yeah, but like, you're a learning. Little. You're learning the basics of meat and cheese that goes right, together. Right, but I feel very yeah, well. yeah. I guess, but d- d- wouldn't cheddar chops already? Wouldn't they have already have burned the cheddar chops with the charcuterie? Like, yeah, wouldn't but it move to some next- people. Some people, I guess. Well, there's two factors. I guess in 2024, some people will know about cheese. That's gonna be That's, true. Well, th- this is hinging. This is this no, 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 no. I would. I would I'm debating the opposite. This is hinging on this going viral and being right. a trend. A, okay. a viral cheese trend. I, there's no fucking way. <laughs> you don't know that. There's a absolutely viral trend. the vi- and the the impetus for the viral trend is not that anything happens. It's just that the viral trend right now is that some people have hashtag cheddar chops. <laughs> yeah, and like mm-hmm. there's yeah. The, also, I feel like viral shit hinges on the uh, ability for people to just copy it and do it. Yeah. Right. Whereas getting into like the Well, maybe people are going to be posting pictures of cheese and say hashtag cheddar chops. I mean, this is a, you this guys is a millennial trend. If you, what if if you, if you want this to happen, you guys have to flex your influence as much as possible. And a get new cheese chops. drops. Okay, everyone post a picture of your cheese that you're eating and do hashtag mm. cheddar, cheddar, cheddar chops. chops. <laughs> God damn it. Post a picture of uh, what well, has to be in. cheddar. All right. It has to be cheddar. In the... Well, like cheddar chops is speaking for cheeses and for all cheeses. Then it should be all cheese right. chops. Next prediction. Well, cheddar chops. <laughs> a mysterious plague will spread <laughs> all over the world, which will cause people to sleep and hence will bring a halt to the entire <laughs> world. Lock it in. Lock it in I right now. I think this already happened in 2020. Yep. It's going to happen again. It's going to happen again. Mm-hmm. I actually, you know, I have been saying, I think a new disease is on its way. I've been saying this a lot. That's maybe my <laughs> prophecy. I think that there's something is going to, it's going to have been around for a minute. They're going to be, we just, we've been seeing, we didn't know what to test for, but now we've seen that this has been taking over. Mm-hmm. I don't know about sl- the sleeping part, but I really like the picture too. I think that's supposed to be Nostradamus. Oh, um, it's definitely an AI photo. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think if 
2020 proved anything, I think it's that we are definitely susceptible to, to sleeping, to sleep, to a major halt mm. of yeah. Earth via the sleep. What do you guys uh, think? Are we locking it in or are we boning it? I think we're boning it. I would say because it's not original. It feels <laughs> at this point like whatever I say, you're just going to do the opposite. So uh, what do you want to do? What are you talking about? I said no cheese chops, and then we... It was cheddar chops. Cheddar it's chops. cheddar chops. You already forgot. Cheddar chops. Yeah, so there was no cheese chops. Attention. It was cheddar chops. I like cheddar chops now because this one okay, is Okay, so Mysterious scary. Plague, yes or no? No. 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 It's, it's a, a flop. It. It's a bone. It's a, it's a bone. bone. It's a bone. Right. The cheddar chops I want to hit. The, nope. good, the good one? A popular talk <laughs> show host is rumored to be considering a career change that could shock their loyal this viewers. Already happened. This already happened with Drew Barrymore breaking the strike. But she's not that. There was no career change. There was a well. There was. What a, do you mean? Uh, There's, that's not a. It's a career change. What's the Someone word I'm looking for here? A um, people a people, perception she, change. Right, but this says a career change. So do they need to be a yeah. sitting talk show host now? Because Conan's new show is going to come out. Maybe that's what they mean. Is the career change like into back into being a talk show host? Well, his new show is just him doing the remotes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then that. But I will say, I do think I can see Kimmel and Who's I can still, see Fallon yeah. switching it up. Kimmel action mm-hmm. star. Kimmel action star. Kimmel. Tom Cruise dies in a stunt in Dead Reckoning Two. He's he gets the bends from a submarine stunt. Mm-hmm. Jimmy Kimmel takes his place as mm-hmm. his character as Ethan Hunt's Ethan son. Hunt. Or, Jimmy, Hunt. or <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon <laughs> returns to musical Jimmy. comedy. Yes. Jimmy Only Fallon back comedy. to stand up. Drops the uh-huh. show and goes uh, full stand up. Yep. Mm-hmm. Do you remember he had an album of, stand- of songs? <laughs> no, I 2003, don't. 2003, he had an album or of rap. music. He goes, he's full rap, comedy rap. Mm. What, I would, what, rap. I, what I wouldn't give to see Jimmy Fallon drop some some bars. Yeah. Oh, I well, couldn't imagine buddy. it. Couldn't buddy, imagine. There, there's a segment on The Tonight Show that you need to see. <gasps> I don't watch it very often. Uh, I'm, or, on the, I'm on The Tonight Show. Everybody. Shut what? up, bro. I was, I was on The Tonight <laughs> Show. Uh, there's a at the you can see me in the crowd at the end. That does not count. Yeah, uh, it was count. it was. All right, are we wait, wait, look it, it, look wait, it up, wait, look wait, it up, no, one last, look it up, look it up. It's, it's, one last it's, prediction. It's, not it's Kevin it Bacon and Greta Gerwig episode, and what's his name? We have to get through Nick these predictions, Thune man. did stand up, and I'm in the credits, and I high five Jimmy Fallon. That okay. you are disgusting. You're a bug. No one's gonna look. Okay, popular talk show host. Uh, changing career. We did not even think about Colbert leaving to become a minister or president. Uh, yeah, or oh, or uh, president oh. as his character. <laughs> oh, <wrong one. laughs> okay, we're locking next, it in. Next one. This is a series of of uh, of stuff from a forum I found. Mm-hmm. I did a reading yesterday about the state of female rap and what events will be taking place in quarter one, January, February, March. The chair card is a tarot reading for, uh, <laughs> for the state of female rap. Okay. The chair card implies a departure or vacancy. There might be a notable figure or influence leaving the female rap community during this period that creates a shift in the dynamics. When did they predict this? When was that? Because remember Doja Cat said that she was leaving. This is for 2024 for the first quarter. Okay. Can well. we maybe have a swap between late night host and female rap star? Not a bad idea. There's oh more though. I'd keep going here. Uh, post two, a female rapper changes her image. A female rapper will be taking chances when it comes to her image and exploring news, aesthetics, or themes in her music career. This new image could be risky, indicating a departure from their previous image or works, but I'm seeing them willing to try new things. For this female rapper, I think that she is taking a lot of initiative when it comes to creativity and projects, and she is confident in what the future holds for the outcomes of these projects. This will come with a lot of like having to defend her choices, but I'm seeing her have a bold demeanor. Who is the what female rapper? What a fucking rapper. lame prediction. Just be like, yeah, someone's going to change all the stuff. And I'm so proud of her. For <laughs> There's doing one it. more female rap prediction. We can do these all as a group where okay. we can decide whether to lock these in or not. <laughs> Number three, Cardi uh, B's overall 2024 career prediction. There will be discord or issues within Cardi B's social or professional circles. There might be challenges related to relationships that could impact the trajectory of her career. She will be experiencing feelings of depression, anxiety, or a sense that someone oh, might no. be working against her there is potential emotional challenges that could affect her well-being and <laughs> professional outlook cardi b may find opportunities to take breaks or enjoy moments of leisure this could be important for maintaining balance and rejuvenating her creative energy i'm seeing she's going to step back and take a vacation of some sort <laughs> let's lock that one in let's that one lock feels that pretty one solid. in yeah, i'm pretty happy with that one. i think the first two such a good prediction yeah i, I think, think actually all of them were vacation. locked in <laughs> cardi b will go in 2020 to miami for vacation <laughs> She will go on a vacation, and, and I think she will shake her butt. Yeah, I think she'll probably take a break and go on vacation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think she will. Isn't this this is like didn't her and her her husband just divorce? Offset. 
Yeah. I don't know. Well, her husband is still offset. Like, Did they divorce? They divorced. They have not been oh together for a while. And she announced in a... Well, I think that, it was that, a, that, that definitely that did not happen in the last She announced day. in an X space, or no, it was an Instagram Live, we haven't been together for weeks, is what I saw. But so And also she announced <laughs> yes, in a Twitter space... You were like commenting on it as it was happening <laughs> live. No! <laughs> Cardi, no! Cardi, please! Cardi, I'm so sorry this happened to you. <laughs> Cardi, I hope oh, this geez. does not affect your musical Cardi, career. Cardi, you need to go on vacation. <laughs> Cardi, <laughs> yeah. I swear to God, if you take don't go on, you. take some you time for you. You need to enjoy some moments of leisure, Cardi. Cardi, I'm going to do a tarot reading for you. Yeah. So what? But what I'm thinking from that is that isn't because she just d- got divorced from mm-hmm. Offset, which you could call him now off, off, off the picture. Uh-huh. Out of the picture could be his <laughs> new name. Yeah. Maybe there's someone in her circle who's still working for him. <gasps> And that could be the discord she's going to experience. She's trying to hide all her income because he he's going to try and take her money in the divorce. They were in the she, baby shark movie the together. Most, the most like schizophrenic thing, just like Cardi, there's a, someone is working for Offset in your in your crew. Someone in your crew is a mole. There's like, a mole. Get out for now! Offset in your crew. You need to go to my. You, you need, need to go. You need to go, Cardi. You need to take moments of leisure. Yeah. Cardi, drink some tea. Shake your butt. Mm. <laughs> Cardi, I know that Cardi, dancing relaxes you. Cardi, I know, I know that this is your. I know you, you can't go him. back. You can't go back. It's I know that you're you're going to be Cardi. I know you love the game. You will be completely. You will be completely swayed by your appearance in the Baby Shark movie. <laughs> you will think that you. I have to get back with him because he and I are in the Baby Shark movie together. You need no. to stay the fuck away. You need from this. Him. By the way, Cardi, I also heard that in female rap, there will be one female rapper who is getting a departure from her image. Do you know who that could be? It yeah. could be you. Let us and know. You could start doing death metal and heavy rock. Let us know. I mean, do you like heavy rock? Do you like heavy rock? Do you like Metallica style music? <laughs> yeah. Do you like, I don't know, maybe you could start singing like. Instead of doing rapping, you could start doing like a kind of like uh, rap meets rock type of music. There is there is a there is a mole in your in your crew. By the do way, do you like rock and roll? Do you like rock and roll? Do you like, do you rock, like and rock, and roll? rock and roll? Cardi, I saw your divorce. Please, for the love of God, hold off the proceedings for at least six to eight years because I am going to law school right now. I am just, <laughs> <laughs> I have just enrolled in law school. I will I, win this case. I will help you. I will save you. I am the type of lawyer who will kill Offset for you. I am a great lawyer. <laughs> I am going to be the greatest lawyer in the world. I'm a great lawyer. I'm a great lawyer. I pass the bar. I will be so good. I am the rock and roll lawyer. (laughs) Trust me. I know. I know. I know. I am a lawyer. And then then like after, yeah, like 7,000 text messages, there's finally a response and it's like, Hey man, this is not Cardi B's <laughs> number. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Please stop texting. Just trying every number yeah, until yeah. you get one. Um, all right, let's look at the next prediction here. <sighs> let's see this. Uh, he, here are a few. These are a few pop culture predictions. Okay. Taylor Swift will finally come out as a lesbian slash bi. Oh. Director Brian Singer will be exposed. Lizzo will have a massive weight loss. Chucky the Killer Doll TV show will come out of the closet, and fat people will disappear. <laughs> fat people will disappear. <laughs> These are some pop culture ones that I found. I don't what know do we if think Chucky about these? the doll? Chucky the doll announced Is that he show? has a non- non-binary son. That was or years ago. Child on that the show. That was twenty years ago. Have you seen that one clip of Chucky announcing that the the bo- the Chucky's non-binary son is from two thousand four? Non- non-binary child. But Sorry. They they uh, confirmed on the show last year that Chucky respects the non-binary Chucky, child. That Chucky respects. The non-binary and stuff. He's a killer, but he's not an asshole. He's not a monster. Yeah, yeah. he's not a monster. He's a living doll. Yeah. Um, um, I can't speak for the Chucky one, but I don't think he'll come out of the closet. It feels like Brian Singer has kind of already been exposed. Yeah, I know. Yeah, Brian <laughs> Singer's been exposed for a while. Yeah, I don't. Maybe think they he's... mean exposed in a different way. Exposed as being innocent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there will be a, a dearth. Let's of go evidence. down the line here and let's quickly. Let's I would quickly say the Taylor Swift out. one could happen if her and Travis don't make it. Yeah. Which maybe if is Travis. if Patrick's man of the year <laughs> <laughs> prediction comes true, maybe something has happened. Man. The time person of the year, the man who turned Taylor Swift gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brian Singer, that's a lock. Yeah. Oh. Because it just happened yeah, already. He already. He'll just uh, get exposed it, by one more okay, person. Okay, fair enough. The Lizzo thing, I'm, I'm lukewarm on. I don't know. I don't think she'll. No. She know. can't lose weight. Okay, Pat says she can't lose weight. He thinks he, she's incapable. No, it's not that she's incapable. It's that she's not allowed to. I think Chucky is also... I'm also... Jeez, I'm not letting her. I'm gonna hit. I, Lizzo, don't you dare. Don't you dare lose any weight. Texting two phones, texting Cardi B and Lizzo. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? That's the image change. Whoa. Damn. Oh, my God. I didn't even think. Actually, you know what, Lizzo? Because we already <laughs> locked in the other one. Get on that fucking treadmill right now. And wait, maybe also if we're tying them together, maybe Brian Singer will be exposed to the mysterious things that come out of Pandora's box. <gasps> he is exposed to the new disease yeah. that makes you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> You Chucky will, will not come out of the closet. Exposure. So yeah, that's definitely that's, uh, no. That's Chucky, I think that people would disappear. That I'm, his wife too I'm much. Not feeling that one so much. That no. feels like maybe it's like a commentary on the Ozempic rage. Right. Yeah. I still don't think that's going to happen. The 600 yeah. pound sisters I don't think so. are no longer 600 pounds. All right, we got a few more predictions Aussie. here. Let's see what else we got. Um, here's a three, a triple. Water here. disasters. That one, happen these out. Already. That one is these that one's these scary are going for together. us specifically because there's a, a big bulging thing. It's, in right. the it's also scary. There's a, an earthquake and tsunami in Japan yesterday. Oh my god. Whoa. Uh, okay, so this is. Oh, let me read these out then. Water disasters, fires at homes and businesses. So those waters and fires, and occultic practices could increase because of hardships. All of them lock. Yeah, easy. I, these are easily. I could see these so easily. Happening. There is a pending water disaster over there. Yeah, yeah. there's something really bad happening. But there's a water disaster and that every already happened in the earth. There are noises from that water over there. It's mm. going to burst. And I yeah. think I saw somebody's house on fire on the news. Mm. Yeah, I saw there was a volcano last year at the end of the year in that country. Mm. Volcano country. Volcano world. Volcano town. <laughs> Volcano town. Yeah. <laughs> Volcanotopia. All right. What's the next? But, but, but what do you guys think one? about occultic practices? Could it oh, be yeah. The what are you talking about? If fucking everyone's everyone's a fucking witch now. I guess you're right. Everyone's got these Betty Page bangs and they're all doing witch stuff. They got a whole witch store in over in damn Bushwick. Everyone's got these shirts that say, let's summon a demon. Yeah. Mm. Let's play with this Ouija you board. Say that, let's uh, murder uh, my neighbor. Uh, you know uh, those Occultic shirts? practices could increase because of hardships. Oh, yeah. Look I, at could, I could mess. see Joe wearing, buying yeah. a full <laughs> set of all those shirts. Wearing only those shirts. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of like a fun graphic tee. Yeah. yeah. I don't really wear graphic tees I know. Anymore. You wouldn't actually do it, but I could imagine you doing back it. And in it makes the day, me smile. Back in the yeah. day, I was a big graphic tee guy. <laughs> Yeah. Then I realized I just can't keep living that way. No, mm -hmm. no. There's an age you get to. It's time where it becomes time. And you can't wear a Tom and Jerry hood sweatshirt anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't wear be walking around wearing a Sour Patch Kids hat. Yeah. There's an age you get to and it's just, you look like a dope. Yeah. Look like a dunce. Yeah. Some of us. <laughs> <laughs> some of us you have to graduate their to, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You have to graduate your style. You got to start wearing sh sports merch for teams you don't know anything about. Yeah. Mm hmm <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> One Start shot, two kills. One St shot, two kills. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the right. Hiroshima carp. They're the carp. That's a good name. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Sometimes you like you turn 26 and you decide I'm not going to wear. Are you 26? Yeah. You turn 26 old. and you're like, I'm going to wear. Get the oh. fuck out of here with your old ass, bro. I'm going to wear loafers okay, every wait, day I'm for some reason. I'm changing my celebrity death pool for 2024. <laughs> <laughs> I found out how old, old Baz Patrick, Patrick is. <laughs> old Patrick. <laughs> That's scary. I hope you don't die. You Patrick. start wearing loafers every day instead of normal shoes for some reason. I'll never understand a loafer. Oh, I just thought of something really Run. good for 2024. But for I, people who are in their though. late 20s in 2024. They're not on today. Oh. Get get with the loafers and stop with the stofers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good, right? I would say I would say don't wear loafers, though. No. Oh, yeah. I just okay. think loafers are kind of clown clown shoes. They're, well, the ones that I have have tassels and kilt. They're kilt loafers. Oh, yeah. That's way yeah. cooler. Stop, stop wearing the hokas and start eating the poke. Have you seen mm. the hokas that look like they're like uh, like a backpack? Yeah. They're kind of cool. I don't, what do you mean? They're the like weird. They look like a backpack. They kind of look like a squishy backpack. A squishy backpack? <laughs> the hell are you a shoe that looks like a saw, squishy I mean, I saw backpack? For like a they look cool, man. I In what know. way? Um, I thought... All right, one last prediction here. Mm, what is the final prediction? <laughs> this is from Pastor Enoch Adeboy, oh, okay. the general overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG, has delivered prophecies for the year 2024. Here are okay. his, a few of his prophecies. Prophecies that I, are different than predictions. Yeah. They're basically... Prophecies are A lot of these have been happen. prophecies. Okay. <laughs> Here's his prophecies that okay. I want to read to you guys. <laughs> oh my God. Let's, get, let's get to the prophecies, please. I'm ready to... Hello. I need... Let's Click. get to the next slide, please. Uh, he did any, something any with a minute cube. now. I would love to. Okay, on individuals, he said there are some people who would start the year as nobody, 
but become significant before the end of the year. Joe. Get ready to grab many opportunities this year, guys. Matt Reif arc. He's going to get blow up on TikTok. We're all going to blow up. Oh. Everybody is mm. eating this year. I thought yeah. that you were just talking. I thought I was going to just say only Joe is going to become a we've Matt been, Reif type figure. We've been nobodies. I'm yeah. glad you we're think I'm glad nobodies. you pointed me on as a nobody in your life. Fucked <laughs> 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 up. <laughs> Well, I thought that we were all nobodies no. at this table completely, but I thought that only one of us would thrive. Was really a nobody. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. It's this is the this is the year. All of our friends who are complete nobodies. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. Yeah. Everybody we know is a we're nobody. We're nobodies. I'm a nobody, but we're, we're complete gonna nobody losers. Significant. Person Look at us. Year. Look at us. Person of the year, the friend group. Wow. The, the group. first friend group. Wow. <laughs> the first friend group to get person of the year. The gang. The first friend group to get person of the year besides essential workers. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> they do have a group chat, the essential yeah. workers. Yeah. Damn, wait, the group chat is the first time. <laughs> the group chat's not a bad get. Like That's a good one. 100 to mm -hmm. 1 odds, you might. Time person of the year is the, the group, group chat. The group chat. The, group and it, <laughs> the cover is like whatever message got the most reacts that yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. The most thumbs up. The funniest joke. The, oh, yeah. my God. Wow. <laughs> We, the group chat. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. That's an amazing. That would be get re, but get ready, everybody. We it's 2024. To, it's time to grab opportunities. Grab them. It's the year of the scorpion. It's the year of the frog. Mm. It's the year of the grind. It's the it's year the of money. It's the year of the frog and the it's, scorpion. It's the year of the group chat. It's the year of the 1700s. Wait a minute. If you combine a frog and a scorpion together, doesn't it look like a wood dragon? <laughs> I guess if you're covered in wood. <laughs> you think, see, if you think wings. about it. Yeah. Well, wings, a group, it's frog and a scorpion is kind of a dragon ask. Mm-hmm. If, if you, you look maybe at the if you shape, add a dragonfly it's the to year it? of the laugh. It's the year of the it's not the year of the scorpion, it's the year of the scorpion and the frog. You, the, yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't still. know about the scorpion and the frog in yeah, general. Yeah, it's got so. some implications that we're I'm not so keen on. Okay, what are, what are then they? it's we're, the year of the frog okay. on top of the scorpion. Oh wow. The scorpion gives the frog a ride across the desert. Mm hmm Year of the desert. The year, year, the year of the Sahara. The year of the desert. Just imagine trying to live your life by the phrase the year of the desert and try and figure out what that yeah. could possibly entail. Means so you're not getting laid, year motherfucker. Of the desert. Yeah, no <laughs> water. Dry. Dry as a bone. Yeah. It's year of eczema, y'all. This year is going to be dry as a bone. <laughs> All right. Your bone's well, going to be dry as a bone. We'll be back to regularly uh, scheduled programming. Oh, that's the Caleb last prediction. Is alive that was, uh, again. that was yeah. Grab opportunities. It's positive. I'm, it's uh -huh. a prophecy. Here's People an opportunity gonna, for you. To I, I, honestly, I think the last prediction should be that guy Dick Stout's making Dick Stout. a 2025 mm -hmm. prediction list. Stout standard. Stout standard. Here's an yeah. opportunity that you can grab. Uh, Patreon.com offers a podcast about list style subscription that you can get. Yep. It's only five dollars a month style? or ten dollars a month. It's style, yeah. Well, go it's, podcast about list style. You can go to patreon.com slash podcast about list. You could go to mm -hmm. twitch.tv slash podcast about list. You could you go join to Twitter. It. You or join X. the join the Patreon at five dollars a month you're gonna get not only are you going to get an extra episode every week, you're also going to get an episode every week of movie Mondays where we watch movies on Twitch. Mm -hmm. The VOD is only uploaded to Patreon. You're also going to get an episode every week. Well we'll see. We'll see of if it comes beers back. we drank of beers we drank who we'll uh, sips miss killed them at did them in they couldn't do it uh at ten dollars a month you're and gonna i be made getting, a theme song for them that they didn't use you're gonna be getting 10 you're gonna be getting D, &D episodes every other week if That's you pay incredible. if you pay two orders of five dollars a month fifteen dollars a month is a shareholder meeting <laughs> three once a orders month, of five dollars which month. is a, a a live a live video call where we do presentations and have a q and a i think and it's if good you to pay be as zero dollars a month you can watch uh, my videos, home planet, home, home planet, planet on YouTube and uh -huh. Instagram, and and yeah, and there may be another Patreon show added to the podcast about list Patreon this year, but I don't know if the I want to do it. Patreon is an incredible is value, it? guys. There's over two hundred. Oh, you're gonna do one? Over two hundred. Guys, Patrick, Patrick, Patrick is gonna do a show. Patrick's thoughts may be coming back monthly. It's gonna happen. I promise. Well, uh, but I don't know if I want to do it yet. No, it's going to happen. And I think that I have to change the format and restructure Subscribe it. to us on YouTube. <laughs> follow us on every social media platform. Mm -hmm. Send all the episodes to your friends and your family. You just saw them for Christmas. You you saw that uncle you hadn't seen in a while. Let's keep a connection. Let's send him this episode. Uh -huh. Let's see what he thinks. And and we're going to have a poll that says, should should Patrick's thoughts come back as a music style show? And Patrick's going to oh, have a poll. Patrick has been <laughs> killing it in the stew. He's been going crazy in the stew. That's true. He's yeah. Every time I see him now, he's touching a piano. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I guess that's about all the <laughs> housekeeping we got to do for 2024. Happy all New right. Year, everybody, and get ready to become significant. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Goodbye. This is my first ever post on that website. Okay. okay. Toonzone.net. I was 13 years old. And uh, this is a uh, subject line. I went to the carnival recently. Dot, dot, dot. Wow. And I like it already. So family, di- family Guy does come up. Mm-hmm. Uh, yesterday, I went to the carnival. While I was looking, walking around, I saw plenty of games. At those games, many character-based stuffed toys were there, including cartoon characters such as SpongeBob, Superman, Nemo, Batman, and a few of the Simpsons. But the character with the most toys was that 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 Stewie Griffin. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's ranged. an adult animation. <laughs> yeah, Stewie I know. I was says, like, "Bitch!" I was, really, I was really concerned about this. They range from massive to very small. Brian, Peter, Meg, Chris, and Lois also had toys. I even saw Lois. Pl- I I even saw plenty of toddlers with Brian dolls, which there's no way. No, that's no. you lie. There's no way. You lie. I had to have been lying. Yeah, you had to. I've never seen a Lois doll. <laughs> I've seen one. I understand. That he's, he makes them. <laughs> I've seen one. I've seen quite a few. I I understand that many adults and teens go to the carnival too, so I was not very surprised. However, many of the games with the Griffin clan. <laughs> <laughs> The Griffin Clan is crazy. The Griffin Clan. That's I love, crazy. I love when, like, it, it still gets me every single time when somebody talks about the Family Guy characters as if they're, like, like family friends, you know? Yeah. That's yeah. An ama- you're yeah, an, yeah, you're an amazing Clan. writer as a child. Yeah. I, oh, because I also wanted people to think I was older than I was. Oh. That comes across. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, had a sign saying 12 and under. I was somewhat surprised by this. I also recently saw an action figure featuring Jasper, which I forgot about Jasper. Who the Brian's hell like oh, gay the, brother. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah. The replacement um, Brian. With the message on the package, 8 and up. I know that Family Guy gets wonderful ratings from the 9 to 14 demographic, but wouldn't Fox want to hide that fact rather than embracing it? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's crazy. It's so no, I it's like, somebody you're trying to sound older in those posts, yeah. but, but you sound your subject matter. You, you is accidentally giving. you you were trying to sound like <laughs> ten years older, but you accidentally like yes. sounded thirty years older. You sound like a it's, Christian mom. No. <laughs> <laughs>